With me, I have the owner of the two Q fishes on the back. Here I have the two owners. What's your name? Q. Rudy. Yeah, they own these beautiful Q50s. Can you tell me about your cars? Uh, my bag. <laughs> bag? <laughs> my bag. Uh, yeah. It's 2015 Q50. Um, nothing really done to the engine, just off of it. Oh, okay. Okay, and what about you? Uh, carbon hood, carbon fenders, uh, three-piece wheels, uh, bags as well. Uh, Wrap pretty much. <laughs> That's the booty patrol. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, can you tell me, guys, how you find yourself in this meet? How do you find it? Uh, I hosted this meet. You hosted this yeah. meet? Oh man, I didn't even know that. So we have the host over here. So. That nigga telling me sorry and shit. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I threw to me um, A out of the You recording, right? Yeah, yeah, you good. Okay. Yeah, it's me. I'm, I'm also with the team. That's the people who threw to me A 8669. Also have my awesome club. Yeah, we throw these little local bangers for a reason. Um, basically, this is probably the second one this year in like in the IE that we have actually like a host and let me say, don't nobody throw bangers like me in the IE. That's all I gotta say. Oh god, nobody throw bangers like me in the IE. Okay? Yeah, that's a cool. You had a cool meal going on. I didn't know you were the one, but. This thing is amazing, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, it's amazing. Uh, we went to other meets, but not like this. So it's pretty good. You, you had some people following you, like true, like a true followers, and that's pretty amazing. We have all cars over here. So, uh, <laughs> well, we got it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, we got it. We got oh, he's it. done. Come here. Yeah, he's done. Yeah, I'm done. So. <laughs> Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll sure, send you. you. And with me, I have this 335i. It's an M54 engine, which everybody knows. And here I have the owner, what's your name? Jen. Nice to meet Hello. you. <laughs> yes, uh, can you tell me about your 335? Well, I just got it like a week ago. Um, so far it has, I probably shouldn't say it, <laughs> but it has no intake, um, it has catalyst downpipe. So tomorrow I'm gonna tune it. I'm probably gonna be running heat, we'll see. But I'm pretty excited. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna put a lot of power on it. I mean yeah. uh, I I don't wanna know how much power you wanna get out of it because I know how much power at M M54 yeah, engine can yeah. get. Twin but turbo. yeah, but um, I know then it will be a beast, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it will be your beast. So, <laughs> so it will be it will be like the beauty and the beast, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's, it's nice to see gears on the mids because that makes me feel then, um, you know, like, you don't have to feel a chain, right? If you're yeah. a girl, you can I come over. Girls come out, but yes, that's good that you are, you are here and you're supporting here. A lot of stuff going on, too much noise, so don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> so, yeah, nice. nice to see this car over here and probably we're gonna see it later when it's already tuned and ready mm -hmm. and ready to build all these uh, Kuras and. And, 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 and the, <laughs> yes, and the this nice, yeah. <laughs> All right. I cut it. Cut it. <laughs> Here I have this uh, 135i. This is a beautiful car in an angle. And here I have the owner. What's your name? Uh, Chance. Yes. Tell me, tell me about your car. Don't get distracted, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, it's a it's a BMW 2009 135i. It has an M54 engine. Um, currently, it's a FBO on E40. Uh, that's about it. It's a on a TS map uh, MHD. So it, it pulls it pulls some power, right? Yeah, it puts some power. Um, if I'm on 91 stage two plus, I'm making like 390 to the wheels, and then if I'm running like E30 or E40, um, it's like like 440, 430 to the wheels. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is a big difference. Tell me how you find this meet today. Um, I, I'm 
I'm actually just gonna come here today, like, cause on the weekends, me and my homies, we kick it here at the spot. And then we noticed that there was a meet here, so then we were just- Oh, you're just like, okay, yeah. let's go. Yeah. yeah, actually, I was like, just hanging out at home and then we decided to come anyway, so. Oh, okay. But it's yeah. a big meet, so yeah. I yeah, guess- that's pretty cool. Yeah, this, to is, this is the spot I usually always kick it at. Yeah, so. this Fontana spot, Fontana spot. Yeah, you know, Fontana spot. You yeah. See? Hey, Pizza 101, if you know, you know. So yeah, you know, yes. Uh, tomorrow is going to be another meet tonight. I mean, uh, uh, tonight. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, yes. I'm pretty sure. Tomorrow yeah. is going to be at night, another meet. So uh, we're going to be coming again to support the community. Okay. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty great. I like I like your car because it's the lightest version of the uh, N64 engine. Yeah. It's the lightest version and it's the most powerful version if you set it right, right? Yeah. It's a uh, it has inlets and out or just inlets. So like it's, it's good. It's good. Do you have any projects? Uh, what happened? Projects? Like any future projects? Oh, yeah. any so, um, currently, currently, um, I basically FBO around the whole entire stock turbos. Um, but I want to go a uh, dock single racing turbo pretty soon you know get a 62 66 go big single buy, that's good you know make some big power yeah i know big single power. yeah that's what that would they say twin, a small twin or big mm -hmm. single yes that yeah. would be the way but yeah nice car man thank you check another car <laughs> here i have this 335i and here i have the owner how's it going i'm joe yes uh tell me about your 335i um so pretty much engine mod wise it's I have downpipe, charge pipe, exhaust, intake, um, low pressure fuel pump, stage two, and then I have KW coilovers, and then HRE rims. And I did a conversion with the bumper. I did the MMD conversion too. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I did the grills too. And then I just wrapped it myself actually with all the blue accents. Oh, you did yourself? Yes. I, oh, that's amazing. That's my dad's from there that he wrapped. Oh. They own a wrap shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we, we work together on that. Oh, that, well, that was good. And then so, I also have a JB4 and MHD piggyback. Oh. So I can run ethanol too. Oh, you can do yeah. the EU5. So I do yeah. blend. Yeah, I do 91 and e, e5, e5 together. Yeah, so it adds a little bit more horsepower. Yeah, I can. How much horsepower do you get out of this? Um, like mix or or just pure 85? No, I can't do pure 85. Oh, you can do the high pressure. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. On the F30s, they're really they're like they clog up up there. Okay, okay. You have to you have to There's replace too much it. Too going into it. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, but um, no. When I do the blend, I'm making around like 400. Horsepower. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad to be at 235. Yeah, my recent mod was just a front mount, so that helped up more with top end. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but I like, I like the T35s because T35s are sleepers, they can produce a lot of power and uh, they don't look that aggressive like an M3, like that one over there, that's an M3 and it looks super aggressive and uh, I'm pretty sure if you tune it right, you can beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's stuck, I can beat it. Yeah, I can beat it. Oh yeah, it's stuck, right? But yes, man, yeah. amazing, man. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Let's get on the car. And with me, I have this 370C. Nissan Nissan, I guess, is the first Nissan we actually review, actually. <laughs> yes, and the owner, what's your name? Nancy. It's very... Huh? But they call me user 270 Oh, nice. nice. It's very impressive because I like, as I, as I mentioned before, I like this when girls are in the midst. And uh, and you are not just an uh, enthusiast, you are a person that has stuff going on, right? You have uh, your own mid going tomorrow, which is very important. And, uh, well, but well, tomorrow we're going to talk about that. So, tell me about your car. Um, well, it's a 2015 uh, Nissan 370Z. Uh, there's not much to say about it. Yeah, I, I, it, it looks it looks like there is a lot of stuff on this car. Then, if I were here, I would be the same way. I don't know from where to, where to start. Where to start. Yes, to but uh, tell me, uh, tell me something simple. What you can beat with this? What can what? What you can beat? What oh, can I beat? yes. Um, I can beat my brother-in-law's car. He's such so good. <laughs> Oh, that beamer over there. <laughs> the white beamer? Yeah. No, the oh, oh, the gray beam? Yeah. The T35, right? Yeah. Okay, that means it's some power, okay? <laughs> we don't have to tell say anything else. We already know it's on some power. The 370C uses the same platform engine as the GTR, so it's kind of similar. The uh, twin turbo engines like this can have so much power. The only problem is that this one is free wheel drive. The GTR over there is all wheel drive, which makes a big difference, yes. right? 
So, uh, do you have any plans for it, or you just want to keep it the way it is? For now, it's going to stay like this. I'm going to stay, I mean, I've done the wrap, the ribs, the carbon fiber. Yeah, you have a lot of stuff. On. I'm pretty happy with it, how it is right now. Yes, I, I like it because, like, uh, 370 is, uh, they're, like, very um, popular nowadays because uh, they share the same platform on the high ends, right? Yeah. Everything. You just got a baby GTR and you don't pay $100,000 for it. <laughs> yeah, that's important. And uh, what, I like, what I like the most is then, it's a girl on it, which is you. Yeah. That's what I like the most because, uh, and actually it goes with you. That's, even the color and everything goes, yeah. goes exactly like you. But yeah, so uh, anything else you want to share about your car? Nothing? That's pretty much it. That's it. Everything is reserved. Everything is private, okay? <laughs> We're done then. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Let's go and check another car. Action. Here I have this 91 Nissan 300CX. I, I actually like this car so much. Uh, and it, it has two configurations, engines, right? It has two, two types of engines. It has the twin turbo and the natural aspirated, the NA as cool. And uh, this one is an NA. The twin turbo ones are super hard to find, but um, it is a, a really impressive car to see over the mids because uh, you don't see it that often. That's why I, I, I'm very uh, interested on in this car because saying it. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I go. Uh, I think he's gonna do something right now. Oh, he's about to take off, dude. <laughs> Boom! Right. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, it's nice. I like this. I find it very like it doesn't doesn't uh, like how you call it like bother you like on the head here. But you know, uh, at, at first it's it's kind of hard to kind of get used to just with a bar sitting like right there, and you're so used to kind of sliding down. Yeah. Um, I mean, when, when I first ended up getting the cage done and stuff, it's like you definitely like knock your head. Yeah, I, I will do that. Especially like, especially that tall guy right there. He, yeah, you know, he the head, the head is all the way away. <laughs> <laughs> the, the only way that he could, you know, cruise in the car, I have to take the yeah, other yeah, side yeah, off. Yeah, so he had <laughs> all the way to this. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like this. But actually, I like the TikToks because... Uh, it's something different. Yeah, it's something different. I don't know why they discontinued it, but it was so cool in the 90s. My, my opinion, you know, whatever car that I've owned or truck that I've owned, it's always, for the most part, it's been from like 2005 and below. Just because I'm not a big fan about some of like the newer cars, you have if you have issues, you gotta hook it up to a computer to figure out what's going on. You know, I you got you got you got a lot of uh, avenues to go. Like uh, in the long run, I would like to dump a SR20 in it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just to, just to get rid of. Because from what I've read, the, the stock E6, regardless if you have the twin turbo or not, it's very heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy, yeah. So lim limiting the weight is going to make a big difference. Yes, I know. The SR20 is a super, super like strong engine. So I have a, I have a, a guy that I know that he's doing a swap on a Datsun 510. Oh, I love 510. Yeah, the 510 with a, with a SR20. Turbo. Wow. Yeah. It's stripped down. Not in there. It is just the bare seats, the cage, nothing else. You know what? Uh, one of my, when I was looking for my first car, uh, one of my first cars, I was really trying to get a Datsun 510 just due to the fact that, you know, I didn't necessarily what route I wanted to go, if I wanted to go lower or if I wanted to do track. So with the Datsun 510, my dad is yes. telling me, he goes, you know what? The thing that's so nice about these, is that the weight distribution yes, to them perfect. is pretty much 50 50. Yes. Uh, there, there's been times like where plenty of people uh, come up to me like, hey, you know, what is that, uh, RX7? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a 300CX. You know, it's uh, 
especially going to some of these bigger meets, you know, you get basic stuff, you get a lot of 350s, you get a lot of G35s. You can, yeah, got everything has its thing. Same car. Yeah. So when you cruise up as something older, it's something different. It's, you know, it's, it's unique. Yes. Yeah. You, you get the spotlight. Exactly. You get the spotlight. That's why right. he, he told me right there. The cameraman told me right away, you know what, this is going on. And I was like, yeah, I saw that car. But, you know, I was focusing on the other people yeah, over there. Yeah. Yeah. But I know when I saw that car, it's like, yes, I know it's a three, 300 uh, CX and I know this car's super rare to find it. Yeah. Nowadays, super rare to find it. Not, even for sale. They're hard to find. I mean, like right. a good model, good samples. Especially something that you know what is uh, for the most part very straight. Yes. Because you know, uh, when I was looking around, you know, you get some that have like a crash co uh, stuff, you know, quarter panel or something's really you know dramatic yes. on it. But so yeah. you know, coming across something that's very square is you know very nice. But like that's a, a vinyl, a vinyl uh, sun strip that actually got it done by my buddy. That's at a company called True Auto Creations oh, okay. on uh, San Bernardino. They do great work. So you know, if you guys need uh, or know anybody that needs uh, vinyl work, they're the ones. You know, let them know. Yeah, man. And, uh, if there's a if there's a gray M6. That has oh a, yeah that, I saw. that's actually uh, one of the partners of that vinyl company so okay yeah I I, I, I was yeah, I was with him. Was talking about him yeah the guy the guy with the um, with the 135 I think 125 mm. no actually the guy with the 335 the, the one we reviewed with the 235 that was the guy that was talking yeah, about yeah. him he works with him or something he yeah, said yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, a really cool guy and you yeah. know if you want to go more in depth than you know vinyl you know that's that's the go-to guy right there so, you know, really humble guy yeah all right that's all we have right now but yeah hey you did good you did good <laughs> you did good I, I did it i have this uh mercedes wagon and I like it very much because they're super rare to find and in this meet there's one. And here I have the owner. What's your name? Chewy. Tell me about your wagon. What's well, a 91 wagon TE, uh, 300 TE, and it has 200,000 miles on it. I got it for really, really cheap. And the only reason why I like this one, it was because of the back seat. Oh yeah. Yes. I dig the back seat. The back seats are amazing. Yeah. I mean, people like me can sit on it. Yeah. Like, and I'm, I am not that small and I fit perfectly. Yeah. I like it very much and I like the back of it. Look at it. It's beautiful, right? It's a nice car, man. Thank you, thank you. And then yeah. it has AMG wheels. Oh, you got an AMG yeah, wheels? Yeah, AMG, original AMG wheels. Yes. These are like an 80s style, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. It's on lowering springs, it's not on coilovers or anything, it's not on bags, it's on, on lowering springs. But I like the way it looks, because this wagon, the way it looks, with the wheels hidden inside the arches, yeah. it looks super cool. Yeah. yeah, it looks super cool, so. Yeah, and uh, do you have do you, are, do you have any projects to it? You're gonna keep it for long or I what? I wanna keep it for a while. What I wanna do is make it presidential. Oh yeah? Yeah, so like I'm gonna I'm a paint it yeah. gloss black all around, um, tint the windows, the front windshield, put the Germany flags on the front, make it, it super as presidential as I can. It will be dope, right? Yeah. That, it will be like, oh shit, that, that, yeah. that is a wagon coming yeah. out. That, yeah. It will be like uh, the mafia boss coming out yeah. of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's how, that's how, when I seen it, I visioned it and I was like, that's what I want to do. Actually, you know, like uh, in Russia and all those countries and China still, they use these old style Mercedes yeah. instead of the new ones because these are classy. Yeah. Right. These are, uh, if you have a Mercedes like this, you got money. Yeah. And it looks like you have money. Yeah. Right. So uh, this, I, li I like this wagon, you know, yeah. I like wagons in general, but the Mercedes wagons, I like it because I mean, yeah, this, they're, rare. they're rare and the newer ones, they don't look yeah, any closer exactly. to this. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, but oh yeah, I'm trying to keep it for a while, you know, until maybe get tired of it, but which I doubt it cuz I don't yeah, think you want to get tired. You I can't don't find another one like this. I don't think you want to get tired. Yeah. But uh, I like it, man, and uh, congratulations with your thank car. You, thank you. This is a nice car. This is a beauty and in the angle and it's super rare, which is more important. And that's what I think then is the most important part of it. Yeah. And uh, and I find then uh, with the right setup as you want to do it, 
it will look like yeah. unique everywhere yeah. you go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wanna see you in the freeway. It's like, oh, that's the homie yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so. All right, man. All right, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so there you have it. It was an amazing meet. Um, a lot of stuff going on. So many interruptions, but they were good interruptions, right? So uh, it was an amazing meet, and I'm pretty sure tomorrow's meeting is going to be nice, which we're going to be posting later. So stay tuned on our channel to see all that. And um, yes, uh, probably we're going to see you at the meet. And uh, we're going to be asking you about if you want to be part of the video. And you know, you Agus can feel uh, free to ask us as well hey you know what if you want to be part of the video you can help with us house you know like hey, you know what uh i want you to review my car in the mid uh we were gonna do it and you don't have to worry we'll tell you what to do uh so yeah it was an amazing meet i really like it um uh, and um uh, thank you to everybody that was part of the video and uh, hope you enjoy it. I mean, like, uh, we're gonna keep posting and posting more stuff and supporting Fontana all the way is our main goal. So, we're gonna keep doing it. So, stay tuned. <laughs>